What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixi and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time for some more brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today... We're going to have another crack at that King Beetle. Oh, yes, indeed. So we met him last episode, and uh, yeah, it was in this, like, secret location, which is located by the Blue Flower Field. So, uh, yeah, we kind of went into it last time. I didn't really know what I was doing, and whatever technique I was trying, which was kind of like the paraglider run away and kite him, kind of didn't really work that well. So, uh, yeah, we also found out that the King Beetle is quite cool because... It's kind of like the other mob. So initially I thought, oh, this guy is super, super tough. He might be like a world boss that the whole server has to go and fight. But turns out that every time someone else goes in there, another King Deedle spawns. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much you should be able to go and take it out by yourself. And the thing is, we've got some really good bees. Look at all our bees. I think we can do this. So we're going to try a few different tactics. I've been kind of like doing a bit of research and seeing how some other people have taken him down. And I feel like we should be able to do it. I really hope so anyway. Oh, yeah. And we also last... Was it last episode? We, ex we extended our hive. Look at that. So we've got 26 bees in total now. Now, unfortunately, the next hive expansion is over 7 million honey. Um, but yeah, I have been playing a little bit just to do like a touch of grindy, grindy, grinding. Look at this. Look at this. We got 10 speed. Yeah. So we've got 500 honey. Yeah, I wish like this thing scaled. So if you like join the club, you get like 500 uh, honey for free. I think it's like every hour or four hours. I can't remember. But yeah, it's only like 500 honey. So it's really good at the beginning of the game. Not so good at my stage, but hey, oh, and yeah, I've been doing a few quests. So I went and handed in another polar bear quest, um, and I've just started this one. The only problem is, is that it's scorpions, and scorpions spawn every 20 minutes. So we kind of have to wait. I think we should be able to get that by the end of the episode, but we do have this one, Cobweb Sweeper 2 for the black bear. Okay. Oh, nice job. You make it look easy. Three more quests, and I'll give you the royal jelly. 11 more quests, and I'll give you my diamond egg. All right, 185,000 honey for that quest. So definitely the black bear is now scaling up with his honey rewards, which is really, really good. Uh, okay, it's not always quantity that matters when it comes to honey. A dash of pollen from a specific field can make all the difference. Brown bear thinks it's a waste of time. So unrefined. I'll show you what a dash of pollen can do. Collect 300,000 red pollen and eight pollen from the cactus. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's the weirdest quest ever. Collect eight pollen. I think Black Bear, he's quite sassy, I think. I think he's just trying to make his point to Brown Bear because, like, you know, Brown Bear is kind of like, no, it doesn't matter what field you use, honey is honey. Whereas, 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 whereas Black Bear, he's kind of a little bit more, he's a bit more sassy, you know what I mean? He, he likes to think he's a little bit posh. He likes to think, you know, he kind of knows his stuff. So he's like, yeah, collect 30, 30, 300 million thousand billion pollen, red style. But yeah, just get a little bit from the cactus field. Put a little sprinkle. It's like the salt bay of Bee Swarm Simulator. You know what I mean? Just a little sprinkle on top does wonders. Let's go and do our daily quest. All right. Oh, welcome back. I'll give you the daily quest. Okay. 15,000 from the bamboo field. Okay. So yeah, the daily quests are nice. And the cool thing is... We now have 11 Royal Jelly, so we're really, really stocking it up. And oh yeah, hopefully by now, my video, my little tutorial on how to get all the free Royal Jellies has gone up. I think I'm going to do a double Bee Swarm Simulator episode upload today. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have seen that. Hopefully that helps as well. Hopefully it helps a few people out. There's 14 in total, I think, so far. Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Right, so I'm going to try this different technique, right? So from what I can tell, he doesn't really like it when... When... Um, when we like... Okay, that's already a terrible start. Okay. <laughs> so apparently strafing left and right is a really good way of doing it. But if I like... Oh yeah, look at that. My bees stay on him. But the thing is so... Oh god. Oh god. Okay, my technique is terrible. You kind of like... If you... Really? <laughs> so, from what I could tell... Right. Like, he kind of like... He gets pushed away. If you sort of... If you kind of run at him. But the problem is, because he jumps, he sort of triggers you anyway. Oh my goodness me, this is so hard. Why is this so hard? Oh no, and someone else is going in there. No, you've got one baby. You... No. <laughs> my man Penny2Coco has rolled in with a single basic B. That's not going to end well, my dude. That's not going to end well. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Um, okay, which one is ours? Okay, this one's ours. So I think, like, because I was doing the running and jumping with the paragliding, I don't think it was, like... It wasn't really, um, it wasn't really, like, my bees weren't attacking it. 
I wonder if we just run around in circles. We've just got to avoid that jump. That's the problem. So I think I'm going to take a look at the angle. Oh, but it keeps hitting me. See, if it's aiming right at me, it's going to hit me. Whereas if I keep it at an angle, I don't think it's going to hit me. You see what I mean? So it's going to like, if, it, if its head is facing towards me, then I think we, we're going to get hit. But if we kind of keep it so that the angle is slightly away, then, oh, but it gets really close. That's the problem. So I think I can use my paraglider a little bit here just to kind of get away. I've just got to make sure that he does. Oh, my goodness me. Why is it so hard? <laughs> it's so glitchy as well. Like, really? I mean, we did what? 15% damage? Oh, jeez. Okay, our technique is horrible right now. But I think I just need to practice. So I tell you what. I'm just going to try and see if I can get this technique down. It's kind of like a left and right strafing technique. Um, and hopefully it should be good. So I need to wait for my bees to come, though. Come on. Come on. We've got King Beetles to slay. Oh, my goodness me. Clicking on the beetle pushes him away. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, I think I just figured something out here. Because um, I was trying to hit him with my my um, my weapon. And it wasn't really doing anything. Um, so, but, but clicking causes the beetle to be pushed away. So if you can kind of push him. Ah, I just took a hit. No! If you can get him and you can push him away so he's like not looking at you. Oh, I need to get away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was doing it! I was doing the thing and now it's, it's such a jerk, this king beetle. Get out of here, dude. So he's jumping around like a madman. He keeps spinning though. That's the difficult thing. He like spins around so you never know when he's going to stop. But, but clicking on him like pushes him away. So if I can get into the groove of keeping him far away back, then I think we can do this. Oh, okay, okay, that's really annoying. So he keeps like spinning around, which is really difficult. But if you do click on him, so I think like every time you jump or you use your paraglider, your bees like stop being attracted to him. So I don't think we should jump. But you see how far away he is? If I click on him, hang on, if he gets close. Do you see that? He gets pushed away. Oh, but he attacks me. Oh, tell you what, I'm going to stand still. How do I do this, man? This is so hard. Okay, keep pushing him and then move. I need to get the timing. I think it's all about timing. So there you go. Look, click, 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 and move. And move. Yes, okay, this is good. This is good. Click, 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 click. Bees attack. Keep him, keep him like strafing that way and move. Okay, click, 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 click. My bees attack him. Are they attacking him? I think so. Some of the bees are attacking. Oh, and then he does that spinny attack. That's the one that gets me. Because I don't know. You see what I mean? Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Come on, get out of here, King Beetle. You jerk. All right, okay. So I'll tell you what, we're generating a little bit of health. I think this is the best we've done. But yeah, look at this. He's so close. There's not very much I can do. There we go. Okay, I need some health regen. Okay, so it's fine if you jump there. Oh. I nearly actually go, look at that. That's the most damage we've done. I think maybe 30%. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. So I think this is the technique I'm going to try. Try and keep him as far away as possible. Click, 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 click. Don't move. And then at the last minute, move out the way. Oh, this is hard. Oh my goodness me. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. So if you click on him, stand completely still. Wait a few seconds. He freezes in the spot. Look at this. Look at this. Stop. Wait. Move. Okay, I think, I think, I think I've done a thing. So wait, and then move. Oh my goodness me, it's working. It's working. Stand still, and move. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm probably going to have to cut out about 10 attempts of trying this, but eventually... And then move. Yes! We're doing a thing and it's working! Oh my goodness! Okay, keep moving then. There we go, there we go. Okay, we figured it out, we figured it out, lads. Okay, so stand, stand still. Wait a few seconds. He, he freezes in space. And then move. Click him away again. Wait a few seconds. Move. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Stand still. And then move. Can we do it without taking a single hit? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. And move. Oh, we took a hit. We took a hit. We took a hit. Concentrate. Yeah, just concentrate. Okay, and now move. Yes. Concentrate. Click, 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 click. Move. He's going to go down. He's going down. He's going down. Come on. Come on. Yes. One more, one more, one more. And... Oh, yes, we got this in the bag. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, my goodness me, look at that. So we got 100,000 honey, but we got three free royal jelly? Yeah! 
<laughs> the king beetle has been slain. Oh my goodness me, it's a two day respawn. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's awesome. So every two days I can come and do that. Now I know how to do it. I can get three free royal jelly every single time. Yeah. So I think like even like I've got crazy bees. But I think even if you don't have, like, as many bees as I have, if you can just get that technique. So if, it, if it's a case of, like, click, 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 and then wait, like, one, two, three, and then move, I think you could take that down. It may take a little bit longer than that, but I think you can do that. I, I think anyone can do that. Maybe if you don't have, like, maybe you've got, like, one basic bee, probably not, but if you've got at least, like, 10 to 15 bees, I reckon you could do that. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we have slain the mighty, mighty King Beetle! Oh my goodness me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm super, I'm super pumped. All right, so I'll tell you what. I mean, that's what I wanted to do this episode, but because we've got lots of time left, should we just go and try to do these quests? So it's not too bad, actually. We just need a bit of bamboo from the, uh, the, the bamboo. Uh, we need a bit of bamboo. We need a bit of pollen from the bamboo field for our daily honey quest, uh, royal jelly quest, which will be super, super quick. And then what I think I'll do is, and this is what I did for the last one. Uh, when it says, like, collect 300 of just, like, a red or a blue pollen, I just go up to the 25B area, so I just fill up some backpacks. It takes probably two to three trips to do it, but because it's super, super quick up there, and it's also giving me loads of money, it's kind of like, I think it's the best way of doing it. So, we have our daily quest done. Uh, I need eight from the cactus field. <laughs> okay. We might as well go and do that quickly. Um, I don't know if my scorpions are on respawn. They might actually be respawned. Let's go and have a little look. So, um, oh, I'm so happy we did it. Now that I know how to do it. So I think, oh, how many times did that take me? I'm going to cut out all the failures. I think that took me, um, probably seven attempts to figure it out. I think once I, oh, there we go. I've done that part of the quest. Yeah, once you figure out that you can actually just click on him and it moves him backwards, it's not too bad, you know? I thought it was going to be way harder. Well, it is way harder if you don't know what you're doing, but... Ah, okay, we've got double scorpions as well. Awesome, awesomes. Okay. Go, my army of bees. Take down the wicked scorpions. Go, 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 go. Da, da, da. Might as well get some red pollen whilst we're here as well. Work on the quest. Oh, I'm taking loads of hits. Okay, okay. Pay attention, James. Pay attention. You've slain the mighty king beetle. This is no time for uh, dying to a scorpion. Come on, take him down, take him down. Yeah! Okay, so 20 more minutes, we can go and complete the Scorpion Salad quest. But, as I kind of mentioned just now, I'm going to go to the top, and I'm just going to farm red pollen, basically. So I'm going to empty our backpack, and hopefully it'll be three trips. Yeah, probably about three trips. Okie dokies, and boom! The scorpions are down, and would you look at that? We've got three lovely quests complete. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go and hand these guys in. Oh, nice job. A dash of cactus pollen adds to the distinct zing of your honey. Two more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Ten more quests and I'll, oh, and I'll give you my diamond egg. Halfway there. Oh my goodness me. So 200,000 honey. We're halfway to the free diamond egg. I know it's not full, but I've got a craving for a pumpkin. Pumpkin honey uh, has a toasty, savory flavor that can't be beat. I don't get to enjoy it often enough because uh, uh, because of the you-know-what that lives in the cave up there. What a bully. Can't bully a beekeeper as tough as you, though. Could you go up there and collect 315,000 pollen from the pumpkin patch? I think I could do that for you, Black Bear. I think I could do that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that one next time. That shouldn't be too bad. At least it's all in one area, which is quite nice. Let's go and hand it to Polar Bear. Oh, that's all the ingredients I need. Let me chop something up. Chop, chop, there's a funny, there's a bit of a Woo! We've got 20 times Polar Power! Awesome. Okay, 160 thou as well. Next quest up is... Oh, no! It's defeat 12 scorpions again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? I've just done 12 scorpions. Uh, I think it's just random. Like, the, the quests that you get from him, I think, are just completely random. All right, so let's go and hand in to Brown Bear here. Uh, Wunderbar, Royal Jelly, boom. We have 15 Royal Jelly now. And now that we know how to take out the King Beetle, we can get three every two days. Amazing. Well, unfortunately, that's probably going to be about it for today's episode here in Bee Swarm Simulator. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button before you leave. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rentier!